Hello and welcome to another PVLib Python tutorial. In this video, we will apply one of the fitting functions from PVLib to better model the uh, IV curve of our uh, module that we um, want to model based on the, the spec sheet. But uh, before we get started, I actually have to correct a few errors I made in the last video. Um, as I mentioned, the uh, alpha SC um, reflects the um, temperature dependent uh, influence on the uh, short circuit current. So we actually have to apply it to, to that circuit uh, current. And the um, open um, circuit voltage is um, uh, influenced by by uh, this beta factor so we also have to apply it to to this voltage and not to the uh, maximum power point um, voltage and current <clears throat> also uh, the gamma factor can actually be passed as the uh, percentage value itself it does not have to be divided by um, 100 so we can just pass the value that we find here um, on the spec sheet but the other ones have to be um, divided by 100. Um, yeah that's it uh, I'm, I'm very sorry about uh, these mistakes and uh, I apologize for any inconveniences uh, or any inconvenience um, and uh, but I also want to say thank you to the ones who pointed out uh, my, my mistakes here um yeah but now we can get started um first of all to uh, use the fitting functions we want to use here we have to install another um, library um switch to whatever environment you're using and you can pip install nrel isam <clears throat> um for me it should already be installed um, we will not have to actually um, include it in uh, or import it up here, but um, it will be called when we use the fitting functions. And if you don't have it installed in your current uh, environment, uh, you will get an error. Um, all right. So what we do today uh for what we want to do we can actually keep the first part here we need the effective radiance and the cell temperature um, but we don't need the resulting dc from the pv watts uh, model so i'm going to comment this part out for now and uh, what we will be using is um, the um, bit cc sam function you can find that in pvlib.ivtool tools.sdm for single diode model dot bit cec sam. Uh, if we move our cursor over, control I, we get the, the documentation over here. And um, <clears throat> I will um, explain a little something about what, what this function will give us. I'll just copy over the returns real quick so I don't have to type it all out. Um, and <clears throat> what this function does is it provides us with further uh, values to model the IV curve that we find here. To be more specific, this function returns uh, the values for the reference conditions. So uh, 1000 watt per square meter and 25 degrees Celsius as uh, specified here. Um, the returns uh, actually um, can be explained with the, the single diet model we're, we're using here. So the first return is the uh, photo... Uh, well, photocurrent for the uh, reference conditions. So in our, in our model, it's the one on the left side. Um, IO ref is the uh, reverse saturation current of the, of the diet in our model. RS is the uh, series resistance. RSH ref is the, the shunt resistance. Um, 
Aref and Adjust actually um, also inherit some some thermal um, yeah conditions that that are that apply to um, to our model here. I'll, I'll leave some link, uh, links in the in the description so you can further read about this. But I don't want to go into too much detail here. Um, and the inputs. Uh, as you can see here, are actually uh, the ones we defined up here already. So I'm just going to copy this over as well. And oh yeah, we actually called this uh, gamma PDC because in the uh, in the other in the PV watts model it was called that way. So we can just pass it this uh, this way. Um, now we get these uh, these values for the for the reference conditions, and now we have to uh, apply them to our actual uh, irradiance data and the uh, corresponding cell temperatures that we will see, presumably in our uh, real case, uh, real world scenario. For this, we will use um, pvlib dot PV system dot calc params CEC. Um, yeah, autocomplete already tells you um, what we need here. Let me move this over a little bit. Gradients, cell temperature, um, and the uh, coefficients we receive from the um, the fitting function up here. So effective irradiance comes from the calculations we did before. Uh, the cell temperature we got from the Feynman model in the in the last tutorial, and the other values are from our, our fitting function here. Um, great, and this actually returns the so-called CEC parameters. Okay, now we have uh, the parameters for our our actual actual use case, and uh, now we can calculate the. Um, well, the DC output of this uh, module um, by calculating the maximum power point. It's MPP equals PVLib dot PV system dot max power point. Um, actually, these values are all in our CEC params. And if we have a look at the documentation here, we see that this returns a tuple with the photocurrent, the saturation current, the series resistance, the shunt resistance, and this uh, funny looking parameter here, which is actually uh, the N is the uh, ideal factor of the diet. And S is the number of cells in series we have in our module. And uh, VTH is the uh, thermal voltage, cell thermal voltage at the specific irradiance and cell temperature that we, uh, we specified uh, here. Um, and that we get returned as a tuple. So we have to unpack this tuple to use it in our function here. And we do that by adding uh, this uh, star or asterisk CEC params. And uh, we actually want to, let's look at the documentation. Um, we actually want to change the method here. Um, default, I think, is Bransk. And we're going to use uh, Newton. Uh, but feel free to use either one, whatever suits your, your needs. All right. Uh, well, then maybe let's have a look at this and see if we made any mistakes so far. Nope. Good. Already have a proper index. Great. 
now um and we can actually also maybe plot this mpp dot plot x size equals 69 <clears throat> this is more of a personal note do how however you like it uh, plt dot show run great so here we have our uh, the green line basically is our, our dc uh, output and then we have a uh, voltage and current as well so um with this we have the uh, the dc output for one module but um as we did in in earlier tutorials we don't only want to model one module we want to model a whole system so uh, next we're going to define uh, the system uh, similar to how we we did it before uh, we're going to import the pv system from pvlib dot pv system import uh, pv system perfect and then we define this system equals pv system and what we actually uh, want to define here is the um, number of um, modules per string and the strings per inverter and we're going to say modules per string we go with five and strings per inverter we we'll go with one for now <clears throat> and um, now we want to uh, scale our uh, mpp result to this uh, system so um, we're going to say dc scaled equals uh, system dot uh, scale voltage current power and we pass the results from the maximum power point calculations so now we can again have a look at this let's copy this over and plot the dc need to plot that again and run great so now this is one module this is five cool um and now last but not least we want to have the ac output of this system you can uh actually go ahead let's see and pass uh, no this one we don't need um, and pass dc scaled dot um, p m p here probably need a stronger inverter so this works you get your ac but you can also use the um inverters from the from the library we were used uh, with the, with a model chain um, and i'm going to show how you how to do that now uh, not the temperature model we want the inverter and the inverter database um, um i'm gonna put this here <clears throat> and we can use the inverter by um Calculating AC results. Um, Volts PVLib dot sand no in inverter dot sandia, and we pass for the voltage the scaled. Uh, DC scaled dot V MP or PDC we pass DC scaled dot P 
MP. And for the inverter, we're going to pass the in inverter. Um, I think Pepe it should be this way, but not too bad. Okay, now we have the uh, uh, inverter and the AC results. Oh, let's comment this one out again. AC results. Good, run. And this gives us um, the AC output using the uh, inverter from the from the database. So that's how you use the, the fitting function and um, basically also two ways of, uh, of inverting your DC uh, output to, to AC. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, if you found any more errors in my code so far, uh, feel free to, to comment below. Um, otherwise, uh, if, you, if you like my videos, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so others find my videos and my channel and can learn about PV modeling as well. Um, if you've already done so, um, thank you. And um, until next time, stay curious and we'll meet again for another video. Bye.